one of the core pieces of functionality in the travel time tool is to create isochromes. Uh, so catchment areas based on a travel time. So show me how far I could get uh, within 45 minutes public transport, say. And there are two ways of running, running or creating these areas using the tool. The quickest and simplest way is to use up in this, this toolbar, the quick time map tool. So it's very simple to configure. We just choose um, a type of transport, say public transport, a maximum travel time. So this can go up to four hours. And then whether it's a leaving or arriving. So leaving would be, I want to set off from this point at this time, show me where I could get to within 60 minutes. And arriving would be, I want to get to this point at this time, show me where I could have set off from, um, you know, 60 minutes ago. We'll go for a leaving search. And then we can just enter an address into here and hit this geocode button. And what this does is it turns this address into uh, lat long coordinates. You can see this little cross on the map and then creates uh, that 60 minute public transport isochrone from that point. And it adds it as a new um, layer to the, to the map. Alternatively, if we don't want to run it off an address, you can run it simply by clicking on the map. So if we do a driving area this time, let's say 90 minutes, and we click on the map, we get our 90 minute driving area from the point that we clicked. Again, it's added as a new layer. If you have lots of these points that you want to create ice cranes around, um, there's a quicker way than just going in and clicking each of them individually or entering the address uh, one at a time. And that's to run it off a layer of points. So here we've got a layer with um, 10 locations in London. And say we want to create an isochrone around each of those points. We could go in using the QuickTime map and, and click on each of these points one at a time, but we can run it much quicker out of the processing toolbox. So we go into this travel time platform section. Under simplified, we select time map simple. And again, it's not, not too many fields to configure. First of all, we pick the layer of points we want to run this off. So we'll go with our 10 locations, departure or arrival, same as before, transport type. Here we have the full range of types of transport that we support. So not just public transport, but you can actually specify within public transport, just buses, for example, or just trains. And we also support a multimodal um, transport type, which is driving and then train. So drive to a station and then carry on your journey on trains. Uh, let's run, let's run another public transport search. Again, we choose our departure or arrival time. We can select a time zone, so we don't need to convert these into, into UTC or anything. A travel time. And then there are three options for how we want to visualize those results. Normal will create um, a separate isochrone around each of those 10 locations. Union will dissolve those into one shape that shows you the total coverage of all of those points combined and intersection will just show you the area that's reachable from all of those points, if there is one. We'll run it as normal for now. By default, this creates um, a temporary layer. However, if you can uh, configure this to create um, a permanent layer, like a, a shapefile or a um, GeoJSON or whatever you, whatever you want to save it as. And everything about the travel time tools are incredibly fast. So we've now got our 10 isochrones. Um, and again, they're added here as a, as a temporary layer. One of the sort of major benefits of the travel time tools is they can run um, on very large data sets very efficiently. So here we've got a layer of 500 locations. And say we wanted to create um, a 
a five minute walking area catchment around each of these locations. We go and use exactly the same tool, but this time we'll select our 500 locations. We'll go with walking, five minutes, normal, and run this. And this will just churn its way through all of those, all of those points. And again, the performance is, is kind of at the heart of what it does. And it doesn't look like much at the moment, but if we zoom in on all of these points, we've created a five minute walking area around all of these points. And you can put layers of, yeah, thousands of points through this tool. Um, it's very, very efficient. And yeah, you don't need to do anything. It will just sit there um, running, running away in the background. And that's how to create um, isochrones using travel time.